Hello, first graders. It's Mrs. Crisson here. Super excited because we are getting to start a new unit in writing. So you used to be storytellers and you wrote stories about yourself. Those are called narrative stories. Today, you are going to learn about a different kind of writing. And now you're going to be experts. Now you are going to be teaching us something telling us about something that you know. So I want to talk about these two different types of writing. So you used to write stories. They were things that you made up or about yourself, a story about yourself. Today, we're going to also talk about a story that teaches us something. So the difference is fiction is not real. There are characters in the story and it's made up. And then we have nonfiction that is real and true. It gives information. It teaches us about something and sometimes it has labels. So I have these two stories here and I'm gonna just maybe read a little bit from each so you can kind of see the difference. This is what bears like. Bears like flowers. Bears like trees. Bears like snow. Bears like water. So you can see that this book is teaching us about bears. It's teaching us about what bears like. We are learning something from this book. Now this book, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's another book about bears. Bears are the characters in this story. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in a wood. One of them was a little, small, wee bear, and one was a middle-sized bear, and the other bear was a great, huge bear. You can see that there are differences between these two books. We are now going to be focusing on this kind of book where you are going to be the teacher. You get to teach me and the rest of your class and Miss Zach about what you know. And I know that first graders know all kinds of things. You are experts in a lot of stuff. So today, I want you to come up with three to five things. You can write it down in your journal and staple it to your homework packet and turn it in, but three to five things that you're an expert in. So maybe it's Star Wars. Maybe it's soccer. Maybe you know a lot about soccer. Um, hmm, bugs, maybe you know a lot about bugs. Maybe there's a game out there that you know a lot about. So come up with your list of three to five things that you are an expert in, that you are going to teach myself, Ms. Zach, and the other kids in our class about. I am so looking forward to the things that you guys know. I cannot wait to see your list. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much. Bye-bye.